Today, I want to speak about a little word, palak, pei lamed chet. And I'm reading from Marcus Jastrow's uh, dictionary. Uh, this is where he defines all the Aramaic, all the Talmudic terms and biblical terms. And notice how he defines this word. Look up here, to serve deity, to serve deity. And here's the point. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego will not serve deity when it comes to Nebuchadnezzar's idols, but all peoples will serve deity when it comes to the Baranosh Messiah coming on the clouds of glory. So the Messiah is not an idol, and he is divine. And, and you're getting this from uh, Jastro. You're not getting this from uh, some, some person that is wanting to... Uh, convert you and give you some kind of uh, alien definition for things. No, friend, the fact is the Mashiach is divine. He is, he is the Zunfunderoibister. He is not a, an ordinary guy. This is not uh, Joe Blow walking on the glory clouds. This is not a great rabbi walking on the glory clouds. This is, it says in Bereshus, that God in the beginning created the heavens and the earth and he spoke his word went forth and did not return void by the word of the Lord were the heavens made the word uh, was with him like an uh, Amon at his side a craftsman and who has thrown the stars into the sky what is his name and what is his son's name so you have God and you have his son his son is his word his Hokmah his, his agent in uh, creation. And he's the one that can create a new you. He could turn the worm that you are into a butterfly. He's knocking it on the door of your heart. He wants to come in and do a creative work. And the, those who sit in darkness have seen a great light. I'm talking about the great light of regeneration. And I'm talking about you. Now you, you ask this question. Are, are humans so sinful that they need a sinless agent to redeem them? Yes, is, that, is that true? Amen. Well, look at the uh, Yom Kippur, the uh, sacrifice, the um, Korban Hata'at had to be without blemish. Amen. The Kohen Gadol, he had to take five, not one, not two, not three, not four, not, but five. Uh, Tevilah immersions in the mikvah. Uh, he had to have uh, a special uh, wardrobe. It, the whole point is that he's allowed to go into the inner sanctum, but only on that one day in a state of high kedusha. God is showing you that the Kohen Le'olam al Divrati Melchizedek is Adon. He is Adon Kol Haaretz. He is the Adon whom you seek. He is the El Gibor. He is the Bar Enosh that all peoples will uh, pay Lamed Het. That, listen, friend, this is who he is. According to the Bible, now look, if you, don't, if you don't like what I'm saying, throw your Bible in the garbage can, please. And just be done with it. And go play your little religious games with your little uh, religious books. And, uh, and try to make yourself feel better. But you'll never know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fact that you're in much bigger trouble than you think you are. Uh, until the mitzvah came, I was alive. But the mitzvah did come. It says, and in the absence of Torah, I was once alive. But when the mitzvah came, Chet became alive and I died. I died. So each person has a fall. You might have been a little cherub in the nursery, but when you got a little older, you started stealing cookies, and then one thing led to another. And I was in Rikers, and this guy said, but I'm a good person. I wanted to say, well, then why are you in Rikers? He doesn't understand that he's had a fall, an interior fall. We're not just talking about Adam here. We're talking about a domino fall where the first domino causes the next domino, the next and the next and the next, and you're there at the end of the domino line and you fall. 
You fall. You're not. You're not uh, what you think you are. You are. A, you are a fallen, depraved person. And here's the interesting thing: the people behind bars know this. The bars themselves speak to them. They they're like a caged animal, and, and they they say, "Why am I here? How did I ever get here? What did I ever do wrong? Was it my friends? Did my friends get me into trouble?" Or was it me? Was I a willing co-conspirator with these people? Yes, it's true. Uh, bad company corrupts good morals. But I can't really blame uh, anybody, my girlfriend, my parents, because I did what I did. I took the illegal firearm and I went in to that person's house uh, to, to rob them of the cocaine and the money. And now I'm here. And now I, I have nothing to do but read the Bible. Now, here's the interesting thing. People outside the walls of jail. Oh, man, why should I sit around reading that Bible? I've got my gym. I've got my fornicating girlfriend. I've got my job. I've got my money. I've got my vacation I'm looking forward to. I got all this. I, and you know what? I don't, I don't need this. I'm sorry. I don't need this. I don't have time to read your Bible. I'm sorry. And you see, they are in a bigger cage than the man in the cage. At least the man in the cage knows he's in a cage. And he knows he's got to read this book, this infallible, inerrant book, to find out how to get free. He whom the Son sets free is free indeed, friend. Amen. Hallelujah. He whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And, and the poor guy, he's meeting every Friday with his imam. And his imam is himself a prisoner. And his imam doesn't have a clue. Because he hasn't read this Bible anyway, either. But if he, if he would just read the Quran, it does say that you should read the former books. You should read the Torah. You should read the Injil. And also, it says, if God wills, he can remove you, worm, and put in your place a butterfly, a new creation, worm. But you've got to let him do it. Amen. Esau must seek peace be upon him. He's more than a prophet. He is the Devar Hashem. He is the Holy One. And all peoples will, will pay Lamed Het. Daniel chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. So you can either bow now and worship now, or you can bow then and worship then. That's your choice. I'm giving you the Bible, friend. I'm giving you the Hebrew scriptures. I'm giving you the Tanakh. I'm giving you the Tanakh. The great unread Tanakh. Yes, it's it, the lady. We do all the we do all the chanting, but we don't have a clue, and we'll never have a clue because these are spiritual words that have to be spiritually discerned with the ruach hakodesh help, and the ruach hakodesh will help you. But first, you have to get what you have to get right with God, and you have to do what God says, and He says He requires blood. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. Yes, he is the lamb who's, who's led to the slaughter for your sins. He was cut off from the land of the living for the transgression of my people. For my transgression, I overstepped the Lord. I, I did it. I was fallen. I fell. I had a, a Het Kadmon uh, original sin fall in me. You say, I don't believe in original sin. That's a Christian doctrine. No, friend, it's in the Bible. It's in Job. It's in uh, uh, the Kohelet. It, it's, it's in, uh, look at King David. Are you more righteous than him? He said, create in me a clean heart, O oh God. He, he committed murder and adultery. He, he said, I was like a beast before him. He realized how, how lost he was. He realized he, he needed a, a new creation heart. Uh, yes, he needed what Ezekiel's talking about. A, a, a ruach hadashah, a new spirit. He says, created me a clean heart, O God. 